if we don't treat coral reefs with special attention, especially given climate, we may actually lose them along large sectors of today's tropical coastlines. 70% of the protein in some societies comes from coastal foraging and fisheries. These are at risk if we don't look after reefs. Coral bleaching, because it's a global phenomenon and because it has the capacity of really obliterating corals over a huge area, is one of the most severe uh, potential impacts facing coral reefs today. Coral bleaching is, in a sense, an insidious threat which uh, blankets the, uh, the whole reef globally and, and where we really have to try to build up resilience and resistance through creating a healthy environment for all the other factors that we do control so that they can naturally recover and perhaps resist coral bleaching. Now while we can't change climate change, we can actually help reefs get through this very stressful period. For example, sewage, uh, coastal development, over-exploitation, all having an added impact on top of climate and making reefs less able to get through this stress. So it's an imperative that communities and managers that are in charge of reefs start to take a really careful look under this next 50 year period about how they're treating their reefs and if anything try to reduce the stresses to the minimum that's possible. Up until now many of the threats that we've dealt with are local such as fishing or a point source of pollution or a city but the El Nino and coral bleaching is a global phenomenon it's driven by global atmospheric processes um, and it's driven by causes way outside of the reach of the local reef manager. In order to understand what's happening we need to study at the ocean scale, at the global scale. We need to have collaborations between scientists from different countries and different continents. Uh, but even more than that, the managers and the, the MPA authorities need to talk between adjacent countries, set up management plans across countries that are consistent, where the MPAs are related to each other by distance and by connectivity. Um, and at the government level, we need to work on on the cause of coral bleaching, which is really global warming and reducing greenhouse emissions. The most recent scientific evidence is that there is hope, which is a good thing, but there are different scenarios. We need to work on the, the positive and the optimistic outcomes and make those happen. There are some parts of the world where coral reefs are located that are more resilient than others. Some might be in the shadow of a mountain. Some may be in very turbid waters, but the corals are protected from the, from the impacts of the sun from the impacts of what we're seeing in the way of climate change. So we have found that there are pockets of healthy coral reefs that we can target and set aside for future generations.